Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and on the dining room table today there is a lot of power and a lot of weight. I'm really hoping the, the table holds up here because <laughs> there's a lot of weight on this table. Uh, but uh, what we have here is the uh, Bluetti AC500 with the B300S uh, expansion battery underneath it. Uh, over here is the AC300 with the B300 expansion battery under it. I have covered both of these setups on the channel. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is this brand new, and as you can see, little expansion battery right here, uh, the brand new Bluetti B300 K. The B300K is a, a little bit different um, design than the, the previous B300 lines. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, quite a bit smaller. It weighs quite a bit less, which I will show you here in just a moment. And it has a little less power and is a whole lot cheaper than the rest of the B300 line. So let's get into the tech specs of the B300K real quick, and then we're gonna put it through some, some tests. The B300K is an expansion battery that works with the AC500, the AC300, the uh, AC200 Max, and the AC200 L. So it works with four different power stations uh, as an expansion battery. It is 2,764.8 watt hours. I'm just going to say 2765 from now on because it's a nice round number. Uh, compared to both of these B300 lines, which come in at 3,072 watt hours. Now, that is a difference of uh, this is 307 less watt hours than the, the B300 or the B300S. Um, and that is reflected in the size and the weight um, between these. So you do get three, 300 watt hours less with the B300K. Uh, by the time we're at the end of this video, I think you're gonna realize that is no big deal. And this thing is pretty incredible. Now, let's go have some fun with this thing. And what I have been doing to test this is to simulate you know, what would happen in a power outage. Um, with, with, with all of these, the, the AC500, the AC300, the 200 Max and L, uh, with this, you can use those to very easily power an RV um, or a small trailer. So this works every bit as well for that purpose uh, as these do in a smaller and lighter uh, packaging. So uh, I, I didn't test it in those environments because I'm not currently traveling with a trailer. Uh, and I, I think the power outage disaster recovery use case is probably more in line with what most people would use this for, um, although it does make excellent secondary trailer and, and RV van uh, power systems. So I, I've been just kind of playing around the house, uh, checking to see how well this does with the AC300. I did, did use it with the AC300 um, because the, that's the cable I have with it. It uses different cables depending on what you're connecting it to. So if you order it, be sure and get the right cable to go with, you know, whichever power station you're, or module you are using it with. But the cable I had uh, worked with the AC300, so that's what I did. And I wanted to see how long will it run my home fridge. Um, I wanted to see what other things I could run with it. I wanted to see what all I could charge, you know, how fast I could charge it while running those things. And so I've just been kind of having some fun around the house. Now, the first test I ran was just to see how long the B300K would run my home fridge. Now, my home fridge is old and not energy efficient at all, and it runs between 450 to 350 watts when the compressor is on. All right, it's been running for about 18 hours or so and there it goes down to 16 percent all right so now i've got the ac300 plugged back in and i'm going to continue to run the fridge while the ac300 is charging uh, it shouldn't take very long because i do have this set on 20 amps and this thing is 
charging it over 2000 watts. So we'll see how long this takes while running the fridge. That is crazy. In less than an hour and a half, that is fully charged while running the fridge. All right, the fridge is currently running off the AC 300, B 300 K. And I'm just curious, what about uh, running that with a space heater? Uh, a space heater like this is horribly inefficient way to, to heat anything. They just draw so much power. But, I mean, in the case of a power outage in the winter, and this is what you got, you're gonna make do. Um, I, I do have this on low, uh, with the fridge currently pulling almost a thousand watts. Um, which is, which is, as I would have thought, uh, let's turn it up to high. Max it out. There we go. Yeah, now we're pulling 1800 watts, uh, running the, uh, the fridge and the, uh, the space heater on high settling down to about 1700 watts uh, so I would highly recommend you know snuggling your your dogs if it's cold instead of running a space heater uh, but like I said in an emergency power outage in the winter time you're gonna do what you can to to get through it and and be good and, and also keep your clothes warm so yes I mean this this is no problem uh, I could even warm up a you know little cup of soup in the microwave at the same time and would be okay. Actually, let's do that. All right, I've got uh, the microwave is now plugged in, the fridge is plugged in, the heater's plugged in, the heater's on high and on max. Uh, let's see, I've got a, a cinnamon roll here. Let's uh, let's do this for 30 seconds. And let's go see how much power we're running. What we got going on? We got 3,300 watts coming out of the, with everything combined. It is beeping, but it's running it. Oh, we did it. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, so now I've flipped it. Uh, now, you know, let's say we have a power outage in the middle of the summertime, which does happen. We were uh, on our Colorado trip uh, just a couple weeks ago, and a dear friend of ours that was on the trip with us uh, is from Houston, and they had a hurricane come through, knock the power out at his home. His wife, uh, you know, she wasn't quite sure what to do. Power was out everywhere. It was really, really hot. Obviously, no AC. Um, and so I, I thought, okay, what will we do in that situation? Well, uh, we actually have a, a battery-powered air conditioner unit. I've got the battery disconnected. No power there. Uh, this is plugged directly into the uh, AC300 with the B300. And let's let this run for a minute. This does not pull a lot of power, so I know for a fact this will handle this no problem. Uh, yeah, I mean it's pulling about 25 watts right now. Uh, just, just this. I know what the fridge was doing beforehand. So, I mean, this, this could run uh, this little portable air conditioner for a very long time. Uh, if we had a power outage in the, in the summer, we could put this, you know, we could just sit in front of it to stay cool. Uh, we could move this to you know, a smaller room in the house and cool that room. Uh, multiple options there, but this is, <laughs> this is awesome. 
you know, in, in a power outage, we can stay we can stay warm, we can stay cool. Now it's kicking in. Now he's pumped up another another 50 watts. Now pulling 400 watts. So, yeah, I mean we could we we could do this for a long time. The, the, the combo is pulling 400 watts. The, pull, the fridge is pulling about 300, 320. Uh, this is adding another less than 100 watts to that. So, no problem. Okay, one more thing I wanted to test. Uh, just kind of a real life scenario here. If you live in an area that are prone to power outages, most likely you already have a small generator. Now, I mean, that is a fantastic thing to have in that type of environment, but if you're in an area with no power for a while, you run out of fuel, well, then you're kind of, then you're kind of out of luck. Uh, so, I, I've got a small generator uh, going. I've got uh, the fridge plugged in. I've got the air conditioner plugged in. This is currently charging off the generator. So, here's the, here's the power cord. Uh, let's check the display. Currently inputting 1700 watts, outputting 460. Uh, we'll see how long that offsets. I did turn the AC300 down to 15 amps of input because I didn't know what the inverter on that could handle and I didn't trust my extension cord to handle 20 amps. So I, that is charging slower than I showed it in the other test because I did turn the the charging amperage down. So uh, we're just gonna chill for a bit. I'm gonna let that run and recharge and let's uh, let's see what happens. It is currently 1046 uh, a.m. And one of the great things about this is you can monitor everything going on in the app. So I don't have to stand here and watch it. I can just pull up my, my handy dandy little app and see how everything's doing. So, that's all. All right, well it's about 1220 and that's at 100%. And you can also see that it, the pass-through is working. So, it's currently charging from the generator at the rate that uh, the air conditioner and fridge are pulling power. So, that's also awesome. But, in less than two hours, so in less than two hours running the air conditioner running the fridge the generator was able to recharge the, the the battery and ultimately save on the fuel that i have in the generator and now be able to you know run the fridge for another 18 hours periodically run the air conditioner and not be running all that off the generator wasting fuel. That's awesome. That is a much more efficient way to manage a power outage than just trying to run everything off a generator. So very impressive results out of the B300K uh, in a disaster recovery power outage type of situation. Um, I, I think it would be a, an awesome um, battery to choose for that purpose. Now, let's, let's take a look at the weight. I've, I've been mentioning that it's lighter. Let's take a look at that. 83.8 with a 300. 85.2 with a 300S. 63.8. Now, at the time of this recording, uh, the other expansion battery options are the B230, which uh, typically works with the AC200 series. Uh, the B230 is 1149, so 1150, $1,150. The uh, B300 
is $1,799. So we'll say $1,800 for the uh, for the B300. And the B300S uh, right now is $2,099. So we'll say $2,100. Um, the, the official pricing at the time of this video has not been released yet, but it is going to be less expensive than all of those, even the B230. So I'm going to speculate here. The B230 is 1150. If this comes in at, let's say 1100 or man, even a thousand dollars, uh, but let's say 1100, that is unreal amount of power compared to what you get with the rest of the line. Now, obviously there are uh, some, uh, some concessions that were made uh, to get this to that price point. Uh, the bat that no, no concessions were made in the quality of the batteries. Uh, they are rated at 4,000 cycles to 80%. So that is a very, very long lifespan. I think even the, the B300s are rated at 3,500 cycles. I may be wrong. Uh, but I think 3,500 cycles, but 4,000 cycles for this, uh, even uh, it, it outlasts the, the other B300 line um, for basically half the price of the B300S. Um, now, uh, the things that, uh, that you may notice just from looking, uh, the, the B300, uh, B300 and the B300S both have uh, an additional... 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket here, extra USB C and A ports there. Uh, so you get, if you use these, you get some, some extra ports to go along with what's, you know, on the AC 300 or the AC 500. Um, this only has one uh, USB A. Uh, I don't know why they didn't make that a USB C, um, because reasons, cost savings, I don't know, but you get one <laughs> um, USB A, A port. Um, and like, like these, if you just need to power something off USB-A, you can turn this on by itself and power the USB-A port um, if you need to. These, if you need to, you can run these by themselves and power the 12 volt and the other USB ports. So uh, just one USB-A port here. Now, these also have their own built-in uh, charge controllers. The, the B300 and the B300S can both charge on their own separate from the, the upper modules at, <clears throat> at 500 watts, and that is solar and AC. You do need a separate charging brick for that. Uh, this has no charge controllers built into it, so this is tied to another power station or the, the AC 300 or 500 to be charged and um, you know used in that capacity. Uh, I, I don't think that's a big deal to me because no one's gonna buy a B300S just to use it by itself. That, that doesn't make any sense. No one's gonna get just a B300, even a B230, just to use them as standalone power stations. Um, so they, they are going to be always tied to something else. And so I, I think this not having that, saving the weight, saving the, um, saving the cost is, is no big deal. The other concession that was made with the B300 is in the warranty. Uh, these both have five-year warranties. This one, for some reason, only has a three-year warranty. Um, again, probably cost savings. It probably costs more to warranty something for two years longer. Uh, but this does have a three-year warranty versus a five-year warranty for, uh, for the other two. Uh, the one other thing, the one other trick uh, that this obviously doesn't have, the B300 doesn't have, that the B300S has is it does have a self-heating module in here. And that is why the B300S weighs more than the B300 and what makes the B300S kind of special in this lineup. This has a self-heating module so it can be charged in extreme cold weather situations. So if, if that applies to you, you know, if you maybe have power outages regularly during the dead of winter and it's below freezing a lot of times, um, the B300S may be the, the right solution, even though it's the most expensive for your situation because it does have that self-heating uh, battery inside. So just, just know that. But I think it is absolutely crazy what Blue Eddy has done here um, with the size, the weight, the price 
of the B300K compared to um, its slightly bigger brothers here, the B300 and the B300S, I, I just think it makes sense. Uh, you can almost buy two of the B300Ks for the price of one B300S, and instead of getting 3,072 watt hours, you get 5,530 watt hours uh, with two of these versus one of these. Um, obviously two of these way more, but one of these is a lot easier to carry than one of these. So yeah, I, I think that is absolutely incredible. So uh, there you go, there's the B300K. Uh, I, it, it will be released very soon. The pricing will be announced very soon. Uh, I think this is a really killer option in this larger power station ecosystem from Blue Eddy. Um, and I, I find it a very nice option um, for those looking to get into this type of, of, of power station for disaster recovery, emergency preparedness, that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll do my very best to, uh, to answer them. And let me know your thoughts. Um, you know, it, if you would, like the video, subscribe. If you're not, um, you know, all that YouTube love, check out the Patreon link in the description. If you like what we're doing and you want to consider supporting the channel, uh, gain access to special events, special content, all of our GPS data from our trips. Uh, that link's in the description. And for all of our merchandise, uh, shirts, hats, patches, stickers, all that good stuff, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.